I'm gonna start right now is, well, when it comes to security, when it comes to your home, when it comes to your credit rating, there's no greater asset that you can have in your home than a shredder. This click represents an identification being stolen. Every two seconds here in the US, an identification is stolen. That means by screwing up that piece of paper that has your social security on that, has your credit card information, that can be now stolen. In fact, listen to this staggering statistic. 17 million identifications were stolen last year. That is one every two seconds. That's nearly 1,900 in an hour. $99.95 because we are now not just talking cross cut, shredding, we're talking annihilating those pieces of paper, even credit cards. So as I pop these in, it's gonna take care of it. This is the best price that we've ever got out of all of our shredders. In fact, one in four shredders that are sold in the US is Embassy. For less than $25 on your FlexPay, free delivery, we're gonna send you your choice of color at the moment. Now let's go through the colors because I then wanna get through to some serious demonstrations and be able to show you just what this can do. So we have the black that's here in front of me, then we skirt across the front there. We have the purple, we have what's called the dark blue right there. We also have the champagne. Now the champagne is quite limited, be warned on that. Then we go to silver and then we also have the red. I call it the ruby red. My guest who's here, Mr. Joe Harrison. Good morning, Good morning. Great to be here. Isn't that amazing? I mean, every two seconds, it is. every two seconds an identification has been stolen. And just in my neighborhood, uh, just in local uh, in Tampa Bay, the police department today, I just saw on the news as I was waking up this morning, they're actually doing a shred. Everyone brings all this stuff, a shredding convention to the high school, and they say we're going to shred it for free. And they interviewed a local police officer who said, this is such a benefit for them, because now that means that's less people that they're going to have to track down who are stealing your identity when you shred it. We all know the vital information about shredding is because we have all these documents, whether it has your social security number, what's your credit card, what's your bank statement. We want to pulverize that, and all you do, you pop it into Embassy, one one in four shredders sold in the United States are embassy. And when it shreds it, it doesn't Wait just turn, turn it down to a cross cut. I mean, it truly pulverizes it just to, bear, to nothing. It's literally thousands of bits of piece of paper per page that it's really pulverizing too. Now, the great thing about this is that we all know we need a shredder. And at some point, we probably bought a shredder. But you probably have old technology in your shredder. Because when shredders first came out, there used to be this thing, Jeff, called the strip cut, mm -hmm. where it takes about 20 strips for a piece of paper. You can actually see and actually read the individual names the and numbers. The still there. That's right there, that's on the strip. I mean, you're really not doing anything but cutting it up. So then they came out with this. It ends up being cross-cut. It's a little bit better, but the thing is, all you need to do is a little bit of time. You start putting everything together. Look at that. Look at Everything's that still there. That Everything's still identifiable. Right there. That's cross-cut, Jet. You can still see everything. I can still see the numbers. I can still see everything. That's on cross-cut. But then we came out with micro-cut, and it truly pulverized is what you're doing now because it goes down to nothing. So when you look at the differences that we have, there's the old strip cut technology. Right. This is the most popular type of cut that's out there in America right now. It's cross cut, but you saw on that piece of paper, I could put it back together. Now with the micro cut, you're pulverizing it and this is the best price we've ever had. So here's what we've been using for years. Strip cut, just takes that one single sheet and then puts it into multiple pages, multiple strips. And then they came out with cross cut. That's the most popular one. It's still in strips, but now the strips are only a couple inches. Now, when you actually go down to micro cut, we're not breaking it down to 20, 30, 40 strips. We're breaking it down to around 2,000 itty bitty little pieces of paper that is going to pulverize everything. And then, Jeff, how many of us take our credit card? You see those credit cards you get, it expires. So then you do this little thing where you start cutting it with the scissors. So I got a piece there, I got a piece there. And then you're like, well, no one's gonna be able to figure out what that is because I've got four pieces of the credit card. Well, I can easily just put that back together. But let me show you what happens when you end up using Embassy. Because this is pulverizing a credit card. Look at that card. This is a card Wah. that now, Jeff, I put it down into itty bitty little pieces. <laughs> so don't cut up your credit card and put it in little chunks like that. Like I even brought down a dime just to show you. I mean, it's probably like 10 pieces fill up that was size of the dime. This is getting rid of all that bad information that's out there that a lot of people are going to your doorstep and they're going through your garbage and that's how they're gathering your data. And even when you know, when you get that junk mail that's coming straight to your house, 
Don't even open up the junk mail. Just put it straight in and get rid of it. I don't have to take it out of the box. I just shove it in and it gets rid of it. Just pulverizes that data. How hard have you been working on your credit score? I mean, for some of us, you know, when it goes through student loans, it's been your entire life. It's your hard work. It's your hard-earned money. It's your life. It's your information. No longer can we take, and it's a, it's a sad case of affairs. They say one in seven people have their identification stolen. Mm -hmm. No longer can we do this. We can't do it anymore. We can't do that anymore because every minute, 32 identifications are stolen here in the US. Now, we can choose to put our hand in this, head in the sand or just say, look, I've been good. I don't deserve to have this happen to me, but you know what? When this information is just thrown out, unfortunately, it's not like the good old days. Mm -hmm. People are no longer going to ignore it. They're going to use that information and use it against it. What's yours is yours. One flex pay of less than $25. We're going to deliver this to you for free. You got a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. It is by far, it is number one, the, one of the most powerful embassies that we have here that when it comes to the shredder. And on top of that, you've got the best opportunity to get this. If it does not do the best shredding, you know, some of the reviews out there, the reviews were talking about, my old shredder would overheat. I was right. constantly having to maintain it. If I put in more than one sheet of paper, I mean, this can handle Staples, this right. can handle paper clips. Show, show them this. Well, the thing is, a lot of shredders, the, the gears just aren't strong enough. But this is Embassy. One in four shredders sold in the United States are an Embassy shredder. So I took a couple pieces of paper there, and whether it's your investment information, your credit card information, whether it's your Social Security, look what's coming look out. Look at that. It's going in as a piece of paper. That. It's coming out as really confetti, and that's it. And even when you have those documents, when you get that junk mail in there, don't even open it up. Just let the shredder grind right through it. It's one of the fastest shredders that we've had, Jeff, because there are a lot of shredders that can only shred just a couple of pages a minute because the gears overheat. This is designed to do over seven pages a minute, and it pulverizes it. And it, oh, Jeff, this time of year, what are we getting rid of? We have our tax taxes, documents. The old tax We've documents. gone through all of our receipts. Right. We've gone through stuff. You're like, do I need to get rid of it? What right. should I do? Let me take that. What Let me crumble the, in there. The, what is the That's rule with tax documents? You're supposed to keep them for... Every seven years. You're supposed to get them rid of them after seven years. Okay. So what do you do with it? You end up sitting it somewhere in a drawer. Now, you can just pulverize that. So do you throw it in there? Or do you get rid of it? Because if I throw this in the garbage, someone can be like, oh, look, he threw this away. That must have been important. What is it? Oh, it's my tax documents. Has all that information right there. Now, I can just take it, run right through the embassy and it gets rid of it every single time but the thing about it is we always we try to get rid of content we try to get rid of all this data and it has all of our information on there this is 25 sheets of paper that I just crumbled up this is 25 sheets of crosscut. Jeff, I mean, a micro cut. It pulverizes that, Jeff. No one's going to spend the years it would take to put one piece of paper, but everyone's looking for this to get your information. And you know what, Joe? As soon as that goes outside in the trash bin, that's public domain. You're exactly right. It's public domain. Give me, give me the, the cross. Look at this. The micro cuts, nothing. What would you prefer to be putting in the bin? Would you prefer to be putting in crumpled up piece of information like this or this? It is one simple payment. It is a tiny little piece of insurance. It's your credit score. It's your information. It's your mm -hmm. hard blood, sweat and tear work that you've done through many, many years. Look, I would love to think that we say, well, it's not going to happen to me. I live in a good neighbourhood. I've been good to other people. But you, unfortunately, we can't count on that anymore. One in seven people. Again, that represents an identification being stolen every two seconds. An identification is being stolen. That is 17 million identifications stolen in one year, or down to, I guess, a, a more appropriate scale, nearly 2,000 in an hour. And there was a, a recent article I was reading in Miami where there was a group of um, people that are going around dumpster diving specifically for credit information. And they've been doing this over three years and the uh, police finally caught up with them. And the reason they were catching it is because people weren't shredding 
They were taking their documents, they were crumbling it, and they are putting it on the curbside. And let me show you what happens if you happen to lose your identity. This is from the FTC. This is the starting, this is the starting point to have your identity taken back. It is truly hundreds of pages that you have to read and go through. And they say it's gonna take about seven years to fix the damage done when someone takes your identity. And the number one way they're taking it is that we have all this information that comes into our house. Whether it's a legal contract, you gotta get rid of that. Whether it's social security, you gotta get rid of that. Is it your investment? I can see all my investments on the sheet, but as soon as I run it through embassy, look what comes out on the bottom, nothing. So would you, are you throwing your papers away? You're giving somebody the opportunity to steal your identity. Now we're truly pulverizing it because this is the tiniest, tiniest shred that's available. Here it is, this is what the FTC recommends. I mean, you get a big, a big, big pack of paper, but they talk about shred sensitive documents, mm -hmm. receipts, credit offers, credit applications, insurance forms, physical statements, checks, bank statements, expired charge cards. How many of these items have you just thrown out in the trash? Yep. How many of these items could get into the hands of the people that unfortunately are not gonna just take it to the trash and, put, and throw it away? So many of these, these information, credit cards. I mean, just yesterday, I was telling Joe, just yesterday from a local car dealership, I got sent some information with $1,000 off. On the card was my name. Right, they On already the filled everything out for you. Was my address. So when I go ahead and take that card in, they'll say, oh, can I see your identification? I show my identification, therefore I get the credit score, whatever it is. Think how hard you've worked on that credit score that you've got. Paying off the car loans, paying off the house, paying off the student loans, all those things, those credit scores, you know how hard you've worked. Do not let somebody go ahead and take it. Remember, 17 million identification style. This is such a simple piece of insurance to be able to take care of it. Color-wise, you can see, Joe is using the red. We have the red, we have the silver, we have the champagne, we have the dark blue, we have the purple, and we have the black. I've only got 600 remaining in the purple right now. What? Now, this is innovation month, so we're doing free shipping on every single item, including in this hour. So, free delivery. You've never shopped with HSM before? Not a problem, we welcome you to the fold. Been here 40 years in July. One flex pay, delivered to your home for an unconditional 30 day money back guarantee for you to see why one in four That's right. shredders here in the US is an NBC shredder. And everyone that we have here, they're all customer picks at HSN. You need to shred your documents. You also need to shred your credit cards. And by the way, if you happen to stay at a hotel, that hotel key has your credit card information right. too. You need to shred that. And instead of just cutting it up, now you slice it through there and even the credit card goes down to literally nothing. But I want to show you, Jeff, exactly what happens because there's three different types of cuts you can yeah, buy out the there difference. in the marketplace. Yeah. The per original one that got everything started is the strip cut. But the problem with the strip cut is that you can still see exactly what's going on. I think they made a movie about that uh, where they put the piece together and they yep. can find out yep. exactly what's going on. That's from a strip cut. Then they came out with cross cut. This is the most common out there in America. About 80% of all shredders sold are that cross cut. But to be honest with you, look at this credit card statement. With a little bit more than just just about five minutes, you're able to put all that together. And Jeff, I can read every digit. So that's, that's, a, that's a cross cut. That's cross cut. And you've just glued it all together. Glued it all together. Wow. Just with a wow. little like, glue stick, and then that's it. Now, when you go down to micro cut, and it is just truly pulverizing it. Because we're not taking 20, 30 strips a page, it's up to 2,000 little bits of information, little pieces that's on there. It's making it virtually impossible to be able to catch. And then I want to show you that credit card again. Because for a lot of us, when you have those credit cards, when you get them in the mail like Jeff did, don't cut it up, don't throw it away. It takes that credit card and pulverizes it. And then you can see there's a dime there. See how big Look at the dime is in comparison to what your credit card now looks like. Again, and a lot of us, we take scissors to a credit card, and we think that does it. This can take up to 10 sheets of paper at mm -hmm. the same time. It can take those discs that you've backed things up onto, annihilate them. Take the credit cards so you've gone ahead and expired. The ones that you don't want, put it in here. Therefore, you're not gonna go ahead and have the bad guys go ahead and take that information. Go on to the days, or you can take that piece of paper. It's just part, it's, it's just the unfortunate part of the world we live in, where that information is no longer just going in the trash and being forgotten. It's being picked up and it's being used. Your information, your credit score, your social security, your bank details, everything is there for them to be able to use. But with the 10 sheet shredder from Embassy, you've put a tiny little piece of insurance. I hope you never, ever have to come in contact with someone who's stealing identification. But are you doing all you can 
Are you doing all you can to make sure that that's not going to happen? Joe, yeah, thanks very right. much. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Again, everything inclusive in there, free delivery, four flex pays. Again, flex pays, credit card or debit card, we're going to send it straight out to you. You have an unconditional 30-day money-back guarantee. Just be aware, the silver and the, and the champagne are two of the most popular colours that we have going right now, and of course, the red goes faster. Hey. One of the things that we have here with the Innovation event during the month of, um, a month of April is, of course, our awesome app. This is our HSN app. If you don't have it, grab it, because, I mean, it makes life so much simpler. You can sign on in. You can do your shopping on there. You can even watch, of course, the live stream on hsn.com. But also, you can get to see everything that's available. You know we have 80,000 items in our inventory. 80,000 items in our inventory here at HSN. So you do one flex pay at $24.95. We send that straight out to you when it comes to our embassy shredder, but a great way of being able to get it. And by the way, if you also sign up for our emails, you also go ahead and get some phenomenal offers. In fact, a 15% off. Now, one, one of the things we do with all of our electrical items is our Protection Plus plan. It's an additional